This is John Moore from Waukegan, Illinois. Today I'm going to show you how to build the Hobby King Spec FPV 250 kit. I'm going to speed up the um, video. Uh, it took me 50 minutes and I'm going to speed it up by a factor of 16. So I'll show you all of this in a three minute period. Uh, the um, kit includes a uh, one piece plastic 250 frame four multi-star motors, four 12 amp ESCs, four cheap propellers, a roll cage, four landing skids, a power distribution cable, and a 1000 milliamp battery. You will need to add a flight control. I have a KK 2.1. Uh, you'll need a transmitter and a receiver, and you'll need FPV gear. The first step in building this is to put together the um, four motors onto the frame with the provided um, screws and washers. After that, the speed controls are installed on top of the frame. I run the water wiring to the bottom of the frame between the speed controls and the motor to tidy it up. Uh, the next step after you put the four um, ESCs on would be to install the um, flight control, the KK 2.1 board in the center of the frame, and then connect the um, motors to the flight control board on the right side. After that, I put the um, radio receiver on the back plate of the um, 250 quad, and I used Velcro to attach it, and then I attached uh, two servo wires. You only need two if you're using four channel. The first one would be to channel one, and it would also get the power with the red and black wire. And then the second servo wire would go to uh, channels two, three, and four, uh, just the control portion. It doesn't need power again. to the uh, receiver and then to uh, set the uh, flight control boards all the options on that and then make sure the uh, motors are arm the um, flight control board uh, and make sure the propellers are spinning on the right direction then install the propellers and then I permanently glued on the um, four landing gear skids after that, the roll cage is put on, the wires uh, zip tied up and organized, and then you're ready to fly. On the flight controller and calibrating the various throttle stick, uh, sticks and making sure everything is in good order before you fly is shown on other videos. If I have time, I might put together one of those videos also showing you how to do this.